I am mother. Well, I'm not mother, but Rose Byrne is. I checked out this film on Netflix the other night, Netflix original, by the way. The movie is called I Am Mother, and it stars Rose Byrne, Hilary Swank, and Clara Rugard, which I hope I'm pronouncing your name right, especially now since I have a huge crush on you. Like I'm a 12 year old boy. Oh my god, so cute. I kind of just stumbled on this movie the other day, not knowing what to really expect. I just went into it blind. Just, you know, the, the small details that were given to me at the start. Basically, the movie is all about an extinction level event for humans. People are getting wiped out, but the government sets up a base underground, heavily fortified with all the supplies you would need with one AI robot inside the bunker. There are 600,000 or more more human embryos stored inside of this underground base where the AI robot takes one and begins to breed a new generation of humans. As we usually do, let's go to the database to look for statistics and rating details, otherwise known as IMDB. So the average rating for fan reviews, this has a 6.7 out of 10, and then on Metascore, this has a 64 out of 100. So after watching this movie, I think it is vastly underrated. Don't let the 6.7 kind of deter you. It is overall, even if you don't want to say it's great, fantastic, amazing, it is a good movie. If you're really looking for something to watch, I suggest you watch this film. Another thing I noticed after watching this movie, I have not stopped thinking about it for the past two days. I just think there's so much rich lore to what this universe could offer, and just the whole idea of human relationship with an AI robot, especially an AI robot that's not out to kill you, but is actually here to guard you and pretty much be your mother, be your, your parent. And I just thought the acting all around was so fantastic, and I have not been able to stop thinking about this film. It's just so good. I mean, it's just one of those films that are getting decent reviews that I actually think higher on than a lot of other people might. So as I mentioned right at the beginning, Rose Byrne does play the AI robot. She plays mother. Clara Rugard plays daughter, which is the human embryo that the AI robot does deposit into a pregnancy chamber at the beginning of the film, or at least you think it is. In this world, Mother has convinced daughter that the outside world is heavily toxic and the minute you go out there you could be contaminated with God knows what, and possibly even die very, very quickly. And of course, to make this movie very interesting, a woman does end up entering the bunker from the outside world, and that happens to be Hilary Swank, who in this movie goes by the name Woman. This movie isn't just sci-fi, it has its share of thriller. There are very interesting twists that this movie does have throughout its hour 53 minute runtime. Some of those hints, you can pick up on immediately, only if you're paying attention. And I will say for myself, I pretty much picked up on these twists and hints maybe about half an hour into the movie. I kind of figured what was going on, but still, the movie's atmosphere and tone did not deter me from being bored, from being like, well, I already know what's gonna happen now, I don't really care. The movie still draws you in because there is more. There is more to come, there's more to be expected, and it is just an overall interesting movie. The movie is heavily based on mother basically teaching daughter all of life lessons, all of math and English and doctorates and all that type of stuff. She's basically teaching daughter to be the next perfect human to start the next human generation. Throughout the film, she constantly promises daughter that if she passes tests and exams, and if she's basically just following through with mother's plan to become this all-time smart, powerful woman, that she will eventually allow her to grow their family. So then you'll have mother, you'll have daughter, and then you'll have all the other hundreds of thousands of children embryos that are based 
placed inside of this bunker. As the movie of course goes along bringing the introduction of Hilary Swank's woman character, you do end up finding out that there is more than meets the eye and maybe the full truth has not just been told to daughter but hasn't been told to us as the viewer as well. I mean in a story where an artificial intelligence is practically running this underground base and somewhat holding in a younger girl's freedom from visiting the outside world by telling her that the earth is apparently toxic without giving her any actual proof, then you have to know there is obviously more than meets the eye. What was really cool about this movie actually is the vibes it shares, like you do the vibes, the vibes it shares with other cult classics like Terminator, Blade Runner, and Alien. I was getting oh the vibes from all three of those super famous sci-fi action films in this film alone. Clara Rugard in some of those areas and even Hilary Swank, they were giving me some serious like Ripley or Sarah Connor vibes from Terminator and Alien. Even the way there are scenes where Mother the robot is actually running down halls and I did get an Alien vibe from it. Having a shot of the human character characters and then all of a sudden scanning over to the robot and the robots like running down the hallway. It did feel very like alien horror type and obviously you know the whole idea of artificial intelligence and robots coming from like Terminator, Skynet or replicants from Blade Runner but very interesting enough the movie does actually have a full out call to Blade Runner's universe with the origami. There are multiple uses of origami in this film the way that origami was used in very, very interesting but deep connected scenes to Blade Runner. Blade Runner always used origami to signify a bigger picture, something that you'd have to connect the dots and really dive into to figure out. They did use origami in that way in this movie as well, so that was really cool. The vibes, and I think the most interesting thing to take away from this movie is you realize that the title of it is I Am Mother but you're thinking to yourself, okay, I Am Mother is Rose Byrne's character, the actual robot, but really, it is Clara Ruger's character, the daughter, because she is learning to be the mother. And with the way the movie ends, it does speak truth to the character growth that daughter does have throughout its hour 53 minute runtime. I'm going to give this movie an 8 out of 10. And the reason why I'm not giving it a little bit higher, and maybe this isn't the movie's fault, maybe it's budget, maybe it's writing, who knows. All I know is that two points were taken off because I actually want more. I would have been fine if this movie was two hours and 30 minutes, two hours, 20 minutes. I would have liked if this world was completely fleshed out even more. And yeah, maybe there's this idea that they want their viewer to fill in the blanks and create their own version of what the world may look like, but I would have been okay for more lore from this story. I'd be okay with I Am Mother too. Hilary Swank, great actress, did a great job in this movie. Rose Byrne, I think she's vastly underrated. She does a great job in all movies she does, and she did a great job with voice acting here. Clara Rugard, let me just say right now, not only were you fantastic in this film, but I want to see you in more. I want to see you everywhere now. And I see here that you're born December 5th, 1997. I'm born 1996. So I'm just saying, if you like older guys, I'm here. Just hit, you know, you know where to find me. You know where to find me, hit me up. And you know, maybe me and you can make a sequel together called I Am Father. I <laughs> Daddy's home. The vibes? Anyways, as per usual, make sure to like and subscribe if you do like my movie reviews and if you did like this one and if you want to see future movie reviews and everything else I just have going on on this channel in general. And until next time, I will see you guys soon. See ya.